What's the biggest risk then? Is it all the drama in D.C. or is that literally, and I hate to use this term because I'm not minimizing it because it's extremely important to, to America, a sideshow. And it's kind of a do no harm economy where just kind of like we don't need anything else to screw it up. You know, that's it's a great point, Brian. I, I think one of the issues is there's two issues going on. One is that finally we do have self-feeding momentum. We have inertia in the economy. We're at a place where it doesn't need the support it once did. Hence, the Fed is lifting its foot off the accelerator and raising rates. However, what is worrisome is how much will uncertainty play into the summer. I have a lot of clients, big multinational clients, um, that have an enormous amount of money on the sidelines. They are ready to go in January, and because of uncertainty related to fiscal policy, they're now sort of deer in the headlights and on hold. That is not what we want to see. Uncertainty, policy uncertainty on a global basis. We just saw the British elections as well, bringing more uncertainty to the equation. That uncertainty can be a hindrance to growth because it causes hesitation hesitation instead of a real determination in what you're going to do with investment. And that's where my concern is that we could take a little off over the summer, especially if you layer on top of that even more uncertainty, threatening yet another default in our debt ceiling. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.